Hi, Geminis, and welcome to your January 2023 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, what an exciting uh, month ahead we have of January. Very fresh, very invigorating, very uh, nice to be a new year as well, as we have Jupiter just having moved into the uh, first sign of Aries, making this feel like much more of a um, new energy than usual. Um, I hope you're all uh, feeling hopeful as uh, your sign definitely has a lot of energy okay we have mars uh having been retrograde in your sign for um a thousand years i'm kidding uh for what like a month or something in december i don't know but you are going to be having mars going direct very soon in january and you are going to have a very strong uh escalation or expansion in your life having jupiter and aries mars and gemini saturn and aquarius uh, Pluto getting closer to Aquarius, you have a lot of fire and air, meaning growth, meaning confidence, meaning um, forward momentum, meaning that you aren't maybe willing to stagnate or willing to be <clears throat> sad or um, uh, feeling heavy or dense or just, you know, lacking in confidence. Um, what a wonderful month for confidence, Gemini, and a wonderful month for logic uh, healing and starting to piece things together um, in your own way. So not over relying on the advice of others, not over relying on um, the problem solving of other people. It seems important that you start to come to your own conclusions here in the month of January, especially in Capricorn season as we're building up to all planets direct at the end of the month. I think that Gemini is... Um, more powerful than they think that they are you might have had a lot of people kind of like pulling you down or a lot of people maybe questioning some of the accomplishments that you've had but it seems important to understand what you're now immune to or what you now don't have to do anymore and the leverage that you've gained over your life so that you're not maybe repetitiously uh, connecting to forms of labor or forms of energy output that you don't have to anymore so I feel that most Geminis have some type of like promotion or level up here in January of 2023 that allows you to not have to struggle in the previous ways. So this can be like new equipment, new technology. This can be also um, having new people working for you or helping you. Um, it should be easier. Okay. It should be healing. Okay. Um, if you feel like you're just another day at the office, just another you know, slog through some type of laborious story, we should really maybe see a change in that narrative in January, especially later in the month. But I want to go ahead and get into your week-to-week, -week, Gemini, uh, because I'm, I'm curious to understand how, how this change happens. Uh, week number one, you have the levers rooted down by the tower. So uh, decisions becoming fragmenting. Okay, so an overarching decision or an overarching choice starts to kind of fragment or fracture some of the previous uh, remaining energies. That's a tough combination to have. And with Mars in your sign, with also Mercury quincunxing Mars at the beginning of January, I feel that there's a big need to have mind over matter. There's a big need to really master the dilemma at hand, I almost want to say, or to not let the physical aspects of your life or the choices of other people, the the things that are out of your control, to not let those things have mastery over you, okay, is a very important thing in January. It sounds simple, but it's like so much harder, I think, than we maybe give that credit um, to actually not fear the choices of other people or to not fear or feel subordinate to the external aspects of our life that we don't have control over so the weather the um sometimes even the choices of significant others spouses family members i think that a lot of people especially in this 21st century have way more ego over those things and what they think they can control like in the significant other or in the family member and we have to remember that even though these people are maybe uh, tied to us or connected to us we can't control them and we can't control what they do. I do feel that like family problems or marriage problems for a Gemini with Mars in your sign, Mercury quincunx Capricorn season, Mars also then going direct this month and uh, approaching, uh, moving toward cancer. It indicates that communication with family 
is likely or may need to happen, that there could also be an olive branch that could happen or a disconnect or a distortion even, depending on how much you want to rise above our own ego or how much we're willing to compromise. Um, you might be called in the first week to compromise. You might be called in the first week to choose either compromise or distortion, compromise or rift, okay? We have that as a big thing coming up for a lot of people in January. Do we make amends? Do we give peace? Or do we separate and have like war energy? Okay, that's a choice coming up for you with Mars in your sign. And with the tower, like take a look at violent words or like have there been violent words spoken? Have Has there been like the energy of conflict? Has there been the energy of um, force as well in your life? Uh, see where that's coming from. Is that coming from someone in your life? Is it coming from you? Are you supporting this feeling or fear of um, force and conflict? Okay, that would be something to start to choose more peaceful outcomes for to whatever extent that you yourself can. Uh, week number two, the death card reversed, rooted down by the page of swords reversed. Yes, Mars retrograde in Gemini mean words, um, words that have not been thought about, impulsive sentences, impulsive text messages, impulsive emails, impulsive or needless or senseless remarks that have ended certain relationships or have dislodged certain energetic momentums. It's a part of the energy, and I think there were some things that were pent up that did need to be said, even if they were very hurtful. It's like it's almost better to know the truth or it's better to know uh, the degree of control that people have over themselves than it is to not have heard this, than it is to not have had this dislocation. Um, so I am feeling the energy of dislocation, Gemini, and I just want you to know that for the month of January, it does mean that you will be able to further locate or further connect things in time. Uh, week number three, King of Swords, rooted down by the Hierophant card. Master maturity starts to come in. So the more that Mars moves direct, the more that it um, advances into your sign, um, you have to understand to have Mars retrograde in your sign is rare. Uh, Mars, unlike uh, the other planets, does not go retrograde every year. So all the outer planets go retrograde once per year, Mercury three times per year, and then Venus and Mars are the only planets that don't go every year. So that also means because Mars kind of moves slower as it's, uh, you know, further away than Earth, moves slower than our year cycle, um, you can imagine that Mars is not retrograde in your sign very often. When it is retrograde in your sign, we have to really look at um, what role violence is playing in your life, what role pent-up aggression is playing in your life, what role meanness or um, anger or, you know, that archetype of Mars, uh, Aries, uh, god of war energy, what that means for you. And with Gemini, that's communication, that's speaking, that's uh, fast decision-making, that short-distance travel. So it's combining those energies together. And by the third week, you have a big spiritual like aha moment, like, oh my God, my, I don't know, anger management has finally worked or my, um, there, there could be a need, not, not, I'm not saying that you need anger management, and management, but I think that everybody with Mars and Gemini collectively has to look at how their anger is working or how like the archetype of anger or rage or um, also how do I want to express this? Like the way that identity communicates a certain anger or rage or the way that identity and rage are, uh, associate with one another is important to also see, like, um, have you been placed into an identity that would have anger and are you like upholding a certain construct of anger with another person because they need you to be that? So people who need to be triggered, people who need to have someone angry at them and are you filling that role? I would look at that and I would try to understand, you know, like for example, being with an abusive partner, who needs someone to be angry at them to justify their like coping mechanisms. Stuff like that really comes to the surface in the third week. And uh, we have all planets direct and you're like elevating. Okay. So you learn the lesson or the lesson has to be learned about this um, communication issue or about um, the way that your masculine energy, okay. With Mars being in your sign is manifesting itself. So what you're trying to directly do, what you're trying to point your energy towards, what you're trying to enter has to be examined during this time because you have a lot of potential there. You have a lot of potential with Mars in your sign to directly enter a space, to directly move in, move forward, move outward, okay? So anything externally that you've needed to do in your life 
is very filled with potential, especially after the retrograde. So three and fourth, four week, uh, third and fourth week of uh, January. Um, you have the key to something in the third week. You have a logical evolution. Um, you're evolving into the King of Swords energy, masculine air, like Mars and Gemini. Very interesting. Week number four, the Ten of Pentacles, rooted down by the Six of Cups, reverse things, uh, counterbalance, and we have a more feminine energy come in. Um, so you have uh, gaining something, receiving something, uh, perhaps inheritance for some of you, legacy, ancestry. And not needing to just let that stuff go away. So this is a very important thing. I think it's a great thing to communicate uh, with Mars in your sign. And, and interestingly, as Mars then moves to Cancer, right? Not not during that time, but it's approaching Cancer. It starts to become about like how are we wielding our ancestry, our familial karma? How are we working with the thousand-year context? How are we working with all of that? Well, something about that comes up in the fourth week, and you might have like an ancestor come to you in like a dream, or you might also have like an ancestor who's still walking the earth if you're young enough to have that, you know, like a grandparent or beyond, still walking the earth, still with you. You could have them come to you, or it might be good to spend time with them. The Six of Cups reversed means uh, the energy of squandering or overgiving. So you might be squandering the ancestry, and I think every single person under the sun should, especially in like... um like modern society should look at that because I think that it's been very dulled. I think that a lot of people don't think about the ancestral context as much. And I think that a lot of people are very like hapless and forlorn because of it, because they don't really have contact with it. So um, the fourth week will be a good time for you to examine that. Like, do you feel like you are using your legacy or your ancestor's legacy to your advantage? Do you feel like you're thinking about them? Do you feel like you've made a 180 as a lot of people do? That's actually the collective um, position right now is like doing like the opposite thing of the ancestors or doing like the different faith or the different conclusion or the different way. So because that has really manifested over like the last 20 years, actually like the last 30 years since like the 1990s, um, now there's a counterbalancing. So we have a move back to like the traditions and a move back to uh, the old ways. So that might be interesting food for thought for you and, and how you might move forward. But let's talk more about it in your extended reading, Geminis. I will talk a little bit more about ancestry and healing. Um, also from the chaos of misidentification uh, and being placed into roles maybe that you didn't agree to because I feel that that would be a good thing to heal up here this month too. I'll link that below and in the center of your screen. Have a beautiful month, Geminis. Bye.